So, hello again. Now, this is just an update video of what's happening and what's going on. So, some of you might have seen me put the XJ6 on eBay for sale. Now, a lot of you ask, why is this? Well, there's been several reasons, really. Um, so, yes, the Fiat 500 is where the Jag was. But before I explain, don't panic. It's still here. So, basically, the problem with it is, one, I never have any money to work on it with. Two is time. You know, I work quite a lot and I have other Jags and stuff and it's just having time for everything really. And you know, if you spend £100 on the XJR, it's £100 less you're spending on this one. Uh, plus, Dad's not very well either. Um, just a few things really, you know. Just, I thought to myself, nuts to it. You know, I'm, I don't want to sell it. I didn't want to sell it. But I, you know, I was a bit knackered, really. I was like, what do you, what do, you do? You know, you can't keep everything, can you? Um, I didn't really want to sell my XJR because I've spent a fortune on it. So anyway, some nobody really took much interest in it on eBay. Now, I didn't expect it anyway because of the fact that who who buys a car that's in pieces, really? Not not many people, do they? You see them on there. They, don't, they never fetch much money. Uh, cars that have already been started on. So anyway, what happened was... Dad has been told he has to take it easy, okay? So, because he's been told he has to take it easy, and he can't, you know, my dad's in his 70s, so he's not supposed to work anymore, really, is he? But he still does odd bits. But anyway, um, Dad decided that he fancied joining in on this project, all right? Because originally it was just me, and I mean, you know, it's all right, but you know, you make one piece of tin for this car for a weld, and I mean, it's, it's all day, isn't it? Just one little piece. So basically, we've decided to move the Jag into this garage because Dad's got a bad hip, so it's a bit easier for him because he's got a bit more, a bit more room to work with. Um, so he's only had it a week in here. I pushed it in here last week, and he's already making bits for it. I think he's doing quite a good job actually, looking at that. So he's actually making the rear of the car already. <laughs> I think he's doing quite a good job. So I don't think Dad realised what, you know, I don't think he fancied working on it once, but now the doctors have sort of said to him, you have to slow down and do other jobs and stuff. Um, he started, he decided to join in on the project and now he's doing it. <laughs> so we haven't got to sell it. We've still got it, so don't panic. Um, he's painted the exhaust as well, look at that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so uh, like I say, I pushed it out of here, and now it's in here. So that's good. I didn't want to sell it, but I'll be honest with you, time, money, expense, plus now as well, I've just passed my HGV class one. Um, so it's all just having time to do anything, you know, this is the problem with this sort of thing. It's everything's time. So I didn't want to sell it. It's, it's a bit easy now, because even if I helped Dad with it, he, he can leave him alone, he sort of messes around and does bits with it. So, like I say, you're not going to get a video of everything on it now, but hey, at least we've still got it, most importantly. So, uh, let me show you the fuel tank that Dad has taken out. Dad decided to take the fuel tank out. Yeah, and the other one. The other tank is still in, but uh, he just took the tops out. Now, they were a bit of a pig, apparently. And I think it knackered him up getting it out, to be honest. So let me show you the fuel tank. Now the fuel tank is knackered. Let me show you. So when we took it out, I did it with Dad, uh, that was actually full of silicon. Um, <laughs> so someone's had a problem with this about 20 years ago. Uh, so the tanks are pretty shot, really. Mm. So like I say, there is quite a lot of uh, bits still need replacing. But uh, Dad's started on it and he can't... Well, he's been out here all the time. The doctors have told him you've got to take it easy, you know, but it's not really working. <laughs> but, yeah. But it's good anyway, because at least we haven't got to get rid of it. It's still here, and I can still do bits with it, and it's, you know, I was a bit sad to just let it go, really, but it was getting to the stage I was, you know, I wasn't doing no work to it because I couldn't afford to. You know, the XJR, the other week, the sensor went, 117 quid, you know. So what you save up, you sort of spend on again, you know. So, it's quite good. Like I say, because Dad's buying and doing a few bits to it, so I can leave him sort of to it, really. So, Dad has been very busy. Look. It's about a new bit there, and then he's, he's done the inner sill. So, I'll be honest, I haven't touched this car recently. I've been so busy. But it's made all new bits for it. Look at that. 
It's not bolted on yet because the petrol tank's out. Because it's, uh, so it's just temporary, doesn't it? But he's getting there. He's been out for hours every day. Look, he's repaired everything. So I think next thing he's doing is putting the outer sill on. So he's got to take the inside of the door sill off and do the outside. So Jag X J6, look at Dad's been doing. He's been busy, look, he's got the other sill on. Wheel arch and the rear valance. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. There's still a lot of rough edges on this, but uh, we're getting there. So I've done not really a lot for this car recently, but Dad's had a bit of time off from that. Because um, he's got to have an operation soon in his heart. So he's taking it a bit more easier. So his version of taking it easy, he's come out here and started on this Jag. All right. So he's got the other wheel arch on and the inner wheel arch. Yeah. So it's coming along. Uh, he's got the rear quarters on. He's took both petrol tanks off, but both petrol tanks are had it, unfortunately. They've got holes rusted through them, so they're no good. Someone had put silicon or something in them originally to block it up. The last thing, look, he's got the rear valance on. So like I say, these quarters aren't fully on yet because uh got to take them off again to put the petrol tanks in. Uh, I don't know what he's doing in here. Oh, yeah, that, it's not very bright, so you might not be able to see it. Uh, let me just turn it around. So is, if you remember this, there was a huge hole here. Well, if the entire piece was pretty much missing. So, uh, Dad's made a new bit for there. The way it's going, it's going to be done soon. <laughs> uh, probably the engine in by Christmas. Um, now, it is a bit harder for me to bring you uh, videos of me working on it because obviously I'm at work, you know, my job, uh, and Dad is here doing this while I'm not here. So, um, yeah. Not great. <laughs> uh, so I can't bring you the same sort of videos as much as I was before, unless I'm helping him on this. Um, but so far, he's, he doesn't really need my help. Dad's quite up on this sort of thing as well. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm going to keep you all informed. And we'll keep the videos going. Uh, but like I say, unfortunately, you can, might see like a huge chunk done in one video because uh, Dad's out here doing it while I'm at work. So... Um, so yeah, so that's it from me. I'll see you all next time. Have a great weekend.